Hey everybody, today we're going to do a sim of what uh, Steven Stamkos' first season with the Leafs could look like according to NHL 16. Uh, obviously keep in mind that I know it's not a sure thing that Steven will sign with Toronto. He could still stay in Tampa or go somewhere else. I'm very aware of that. So let's just sim the whole season here. It's not really... Uh, Let's not give it a lot of importance here. This is definitely a sim. We're not going to perform any trades. Uh, obviously, I do think the Leafs might move at the deadline, but I don't think they're going to be in the position to make the playoffs next year. So, they'll just be unloading some contracts like Brooks Like and Nemai McCulloch. So, they did fare pretty well in the preseason with 5-2. Uh, let's see, they start off with a 4-0 loss to Montreal. So a three-game losing streak to start the season. That's clearly not what Steven Stamkos' hopeful fans would want if he came to the team 0-4. Oh, and they get their first W in Pittsburgh. So that's good. Oh, uh, one, four, and one. Clearly not what uh, you'd be hoping for. Stamkos signs with the Leafs. Another loss. Seven to six. Definitely a high offense game here. And an OT loss to Pittsburgh, I believe. So that month, that, that first October month, if Stamkos signs with the Leafs, they're clearly hoping for better. Um, I, I think the Leafs would be, Leafs fan would actually be playoff hopeful if they are able to get Stamkos in free agency and Matthews through the draft. Um, I'm sure the fans would think this team could get to the playoffs. Six, eight, and two, so EA does not believe that they'll make it, I guess, if you judge from their start. 8-8-2. Eight, eight, they are on a four-game winning streak here, though. That could change a lot. Looks like they're turning their season around. Oh, and then L in Carolina lost to Boston. Can they pick it up in the home-and-home -home series? No, they go 0-2 oh, against the Bruins. Down to 9-10-3. That's a pretty bad record. And even the Marlies aren't doing great. So uh, that's clearly... You know, the Marlies is pretty much the best hockey you've... The most competitive hockey in Toronto for the last few years here. 13, 11, and 3. So still... It's been a good little run here, but... Uh, I don't think that's playoff worthy. 14, 11, and 3. So... If it wasn't for the OT losses, they would be at 500 here. They win one, they lose one. On pace for 41 wins. Keeping improving on the record is what they do. Win at home versus Tampa and San Jose. <laughs> on a hell of a winning streak here. Uh, the Leafs are really racking up the points and they're going to take some losses here. Clearly not what they were hoping for. And that's a three game losing streak. Oh, a shootout win. That's good. Another loss to Pittsburgh. Can they beat the Blues? No. They go down 4-2. If you want to skip ahead in this video and just watch uh, the final stats at the end and if they'll make the playoffs, well, you can do that also. Even though it's not shaping like they'll be in any shape to make a playoff run here. I lost to San Jose and it's going harder and harder for them to access the playoffs with the position that they're in right now. 5-1 win kind of brings them back. 
life here. Maybe they can get rolling off that. Lost the Blackhawks. Lost the Boston. That's not helping out. W in Philly. Can they win at home here? And they did. Keep the winning streak going. No, they did not. Playing in the Florida here, they went one and one. Win against the Lightning and lost to the Panthers. W is Boston. Oh, on some sort of a little winning streak here. Can they keep it going? No, they lose to the Senators four to two. Still not a bad record here. Um, if the Leafs do end up getting Stamkos, uh, I think no matter what the record they're going to get next year, they're just going to be very happy that Stamkos is there and is a piece of the rebuild. So just to make it clear, I'm not saying that Stamkos will sign with Toronto. There's still a lot of options. And they're almost at 500 here, so that, this little losing streak is going to cost them here. Can they keep winning versus Tampa? And they do, that's back-to-back -back shutouts. Now a loss to the Capitals. And another L. Clearly looking like they will not be making the playoffs here. Unless some sort of a miracle run down the road. Could happen here late in the season. But it's shaping like another non-playoff year for the Leafs. Um, they got three wins in a row. Here, can they keep it going? Versus Ottawa. And no, they did not. But they bounced back against Detroit. If they can get it back, they might just win. And no, oh, they lose. Yeah, another W. They're going to need a, little, a few little winning streaks and to string some wins if they want to push into the playoffs. And they get another W here. And the Marlies are also not playing too bad recently. Uh, oh, and that's three wins in a row. Can they make it? A win against the Ducks here would clearly solidify their odds. Yes, they do. Now down to Boston. And no, it's a loss. In Florida, can they get some wins? They get one, lose one. Clearly hoping for better. They'll beat the Sabres uh, in Buffalo. They win to Detroit at home. This could actually happen. They could make the playoffs. And no, uh, they drop it to the Panthers. Win it against Columbus. Win it against Philadelphia. Can they pick up the last W? They do. 43, 33, and 6. They might just have made the, no, they fall short. They can't make the playoffs. The season might not be over for some other teams, and no, they didn't. They just fell short from making the playoffs. A few points, oh, that's horrible. By some miracle, Ottawa won that division. But let's see what Stamkos did in his first year, because that's all we're caring about here. 82 games, he'll pick up 43 goals. And 41 assists for 84 points. If he comes to Toronto and produces like this, Leafs fan, Toronto Maple Leafs fans will be super happy. Just factor in, they barely missed the playoffs here. Um, they got Kadri and Balsack as some centers, but there's no Willie Nylander, which I think is going to be a big part of the Leafs. I don't think Bozak is going to be there next year. They'll definitely look to trade him. But they could have Ma Matthews, and that guy could be a real key contributor to that offense. Uh, Defense-wise, they got Riley and Gardner. They, I think they could add somebody via free agency or a trade. Uh, obviously, maybe Jared, Ke Jared Cowan steps up. Uh, or Stuart Percy. Both guys that could have been in the NHL roster here. 
let's just take a look at Joffrey Lupo. What he got. Oh, that guy got 60 points almost uh, in the sim. No way he's going to come up with that in real life. Uh, I guess this about concludes it for the video. If you liked it, please like and share. You can subscribe. If you didn't like it, well, drop a dislike or comment. Feel free to do whatever.